In this video, I'm going to show you the display options available on the Opal Development Kit. Opal provides access to the Analog VGA, LVDS and Parallel TFT interfaces supported by the Freescale i.mx53 processor. This demo uses Windows Embedded Compact 7, but Opal also supports Linux and Android. First, I'm going to set up the VGA output. This is the bootloader menu for Windows Embedded Compact 7 on Opal. We're going to choose option 8 to set up the display. From here we select VGA and then the resolution we want to use. For now we will use 1280 by 1024 which is option 2. Press R to return, then S to save. You can see the menu shows the new setting. Now we launch the OS and see the result on our monitor. VGA is a great interface for products like kiosks or digital signage where you need a large screen and an off-the-shelf monitor or large TV will work. It's also an easy way of getting a display working with Opal for development. Next we're going to demonstrate the parallel TFT interface. This interface is ideal for 7-inch or smaller displays. The Opal Dev Kit includes a connector supporting a 7-inch data vision panel. This has a resolution of 800 by 480 and includes a resistive touchscreen. On Opal, the resistive touchscreen controller is provided courtesy of the onboard Dialog power management chip. The DataVision panel is available from us or from a DataVision distributor. Here you can see the two connections to the DataVision panel. The main connector is for power and LCD signals and the second smaller connector is for the touch interface. To set up the panel, select option 8, then the LCD option, which is number 2. Now select 0 for the data vision panel, followed by R to return and S to save the new settings. After launching the OS, you will see the output is now on the LCD panel. Finally we have the LVDS interface. The Opal Dev Kit has the same connector as the Freescale Quick Start board and supports the Freescale 10.1 inch panel. This has a capacitive touchscreen controller connected via I2C. Once again, we select option 8 in the bootloader menu, followed by option 4 to enable the LVDS panel. We select the 10 inch display on menu item 0, followed by R to return and S to save the settings. After launching the OS, we see the main desktop displayed on our Freescale panel. The bootloader has also configured the correct touch driver for this display. You can find out more about the Opal CPU module and development kit at devicesolutions.net.